Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Breffney Park on this Monday evening, June the 26th, for the under 12 final for 1991. Bailborough playing Cavan Gales here. Bailborough defending the town goals. No, sorry, Bailborough's defending. It's Cavan's defending the town goals. Throw in. Cavan break away. I don't know the names of this cabin team, so I'll free in the cabin. Caught by uh, Francis Jordan, cleared up the wing. Young, Calica young Dylan on there. Dylan beaten by the centre half on the cabin team. Cut out again by young Taxi. Taxi's beaten. Cabin sides are free out of Vela Ryan. He'll on to the ball too long. Francis Jordan taking the free. Knocks around. No man, Bellever man loose. Gives a long one in. <laughs> Coleman is fouled at the free into Bellever. Takes the right side. Better avoid for better. Peak by Gavin Mackey. Andrew Coleman foul, takes the free himself, takes it long, right into the edge of the square, ball top in the square, just gone wide. <laughs> Elliot takes out the ball for Cavan. Takes it long. Cavan on the tack. Tackled by Coleman. Coleman robs him. Gets the ball up. Swings the right foot into the centre. Right half back, left half back in favour for Cavan Yale. Cut off by Jordan. Mackey under the ball. Fails to pick it up. Touches on the ground. It's free into Cavan Yale. taken by the Captain Gales full forward. Bad, the slack marking here with the Belver team. Now they're being picked up. Bell beats his man well on the right. This looks danger here for Belver. Well taken. Coleman picks it up, kicks it low up the centre. Taken by... <laughs> good point, good point for Bellabra. Well scored by Matt, Matt Ligon. by Michael Sh uh, Sheridan. Coleman under the ball. Beaten to it. Free. Nudge on the back there by Neil Donnell. Gets a free into Cavan Yale. Clear by Gregory out of the goal. Taken by Michael Sheridan, the centre half back. Out to Coleman. Coleman gives a short ball into uh, Shane Dillon. Shane Dillon back to Coleman again. Coleman loses the ball. 
Dillon under it, gets it. Tackle twice. Free in the, the bell over. Kevin Gale. Point of peace. Bailabra seemed to have that ball covered, but Kevin Fowler going between the two backs and kicked it over the bow. on by to Simon. Cabin and Bailabra on the good attack here. Cabin back cuts it off. Young Callaghan falls. Clear out over the sideline by the full back in the cabin team. Well taken by the centre half back on, on, on the cabin team. Comes out of the ball. Clear so. Long ball down the field. Tight. Mark is back. Mackie clears the ball. Right for a good long clearance. Coleman's waiting for it. Tackney beaten. Coleman throws up the ball. Low. In the da David Carl. Carl beaten. Tackney pulls on it. Well taken there by by the Simon. Oh. Well played. Michael Shorten tackled well there on the three into Bellborough. There's no win here at Brefney Park this evening, so the teams look fairly even and matched. Taken by Shorten. Well put off by the cabin back there. Come out to Mackey. Mackey on his own takes a shot. And it's good. That was a well taken by point there by Gavin Mackey. Here for Bailbra. Oh, the goalkeeper does well. Goalkeeper does well. Wide ball. I thought it was a 50. Gregory done well for the stop that. The referee is calling for the ball. I don't know why. I, me, I give it a 50. I couldn't see no free. He's given a free. And the teams are level again.
Francis, Robert, uh, Francis, or Ronan Gregory kicks out the ball for Bailabra. Coleman under it, beaten to it. This Cavan team looks stronger than Bailabra. Ross beaten by the hop. Shana comes across. He's tackles his man. Wild ball. Big pull forward on the captain team, big and strong. Better of a full back. At least two inches smaller than him. Mooney has the ball for Cavan, kicks it low. Cavan seems to be finding a wee bit of rhythm now. Handles on the ground. Referee let him away with it. Out to the wing half back. Well blocked down by. Oh, it's a dangerous ball. Well put out a square. Square ball. A square ball. I don't know whether it's allowed. Definitely a square ball from here. Whether it's allowed in on the 12 football or not, I'm not sure, but. Referee's pointing that it is a square ball, so no score. Kevin Gale's Empire put up his hand for a goal, but Aidan Connolly said no. Aidan was right, looking at it from here. Francis uh, Gregory kicks out for Baylor. Free in. Neil Donnelly had his hand in his back. Long kick. This is danger. Well taken by Gregory. Oh, yes. Goal this time. Flower coming running in. Cavan Empire seems a wee bit excited. That's not going to get it, but it's up. High ball and Bellarbo back for Naval Adele. Right? Michael Bissayman. Ross Tyson. Sailing ball to Bellarbo. He kicks it. Oh, great chance. No bell for forward in. Big pull forward in the cabin yet. Well put off by Mackey. Mackey's playing a stormer here. Kicks it long. Great chance here for Bellover now. Hell on to the ball. A great chance there for Bellover at him, but Noel Callaghan overheld the ball. Young Ross got out, blocks it down, taken by the cabin jails now. Shorten comes across. Francis Shorten clears it. Ross under it. Well, 
played Michael the Simons there. The Simons kicks it long. It's danger here. Well taken by the bail of a goalkeeper. Kicks on the fetcher. Caught by Tackney. Free in. Tackney lifts the ball on the ground. This part of the game, Captain Gales looks a lot stronger than the bail of her team. Good point for Captain. Melbourne full forward line haven't come to grips with this Kevin Yale, Yale full back line. Another ball in, no forward, come running out to pick it up. Yale's back, comes out, clears her. Down the field. Cut off by Roger. Back in again, Callaghan under it. Taken by the centre half back in the Kevin team. I did give a free again because he wasn't playing the ball. Rush beaten by the half. Jordan back. Down, throws it up. Hops the ball. Sidling ball to Belleborough. Oh, you had the line. The, the linesman after he's out of change. He's out of change of his mind. The linesman because he flagged twice for that sideline ball. Rogers under. Rogers is foul. Three out. Takes it long. Caught by Ligon. The cabin and the bell of the get no change out of these cabin backs at all. Neil Donnelly under it. Clears it. Now Callaghan under it for Bellra. Gets the ball. Three in, blocks it. Knocked up his boot. They work very badly needing to score now at the present time. Have a chance. There's a free anyway for Bellarbor, whether it's a penalty or not, that's another thing. Crowd shouting for a penalty. Referee's not giving it. Hop to the post. Bad mistake there by Bellarbor. Coleman kicks it by Norris, hanging in there. Callaghan knocks it out by him. It's a bad miss there from 14 yards, three by Bailbara. Jordan. Lincoln under it. Throws up the ball. Bailover is waiting for the free. Coleman foul. Free into Bailover. Here's a great chance. Cavan back runs out of the ball, the sideline free to Bellabra. Bellabra missed a great chance, an opportunity there for a goal. Ligon kicks straight into a Cavan Yales man. Sideline free to Bellarbo, well taken by young Roger. Oh, 
Coleman has it from Mackey. From 20 yards, slow. Oh, they get good goal. Good goal. Bellabar is dependent on Lahan Javan Mackey here. He's big. He got that ball and went through with it well. I know it was slightly deflected maybe by the, the Michael Callaghan and full forward, but I give the whole credit to Mackey. Badly in need of that goal. So after going a long spell without a score. The switch is on the bail of a team. Coleman's in on the 40. Mackey jumps. Beaten. Rogers is beaten. Good shot. Off the cross foul. Hard luck. Taken by Rogers again. Cleared out to the wing. Gonna go to beat them all to the silent. Silent barn for Kevin Gale. by Michael Jordan. Long drive. This is danger in round the edge of the square. Knocked down. Shoot. Over the bar. Another point for Kevin Gale. bringing on the sub. Come on, Rogers can cross. Cuts it off well. A rush. Fields his left forward. Mackey misses the ball. Danger again. High ball in the catching. Well, well put over the bar there by the bell of a goalkeeper. Still in under the ball. Misses it. Another point for Kevin Gale. Gregory oh, keeps out the ball long. Coleman misses it. Legan under it. Callaghan has it. The Kevin back seems to have the the measure of these Baylor powers. Mackey runs to the ball. Throws it up. State says his man well. Kicks. Wide. It's gone wide. Baylor defending a lot on Mackey here tonight. Dillon catch the ball. Good. Oh, another bad. Available forwards isn't going in quick enough after the ball. They're waiting. 
for the ball too long. They're not running quick enough. Take him a shorten. Michael Bissamons. Again, the ball went in. No bill were forward in for to hit that early ball. Bill were full forward play, line is playing that wee bit too far out. Ball. Taken by Coleman. Coleman fouled. Fifty. to do in the second half because they're playing with a slight win. And Mackie kicks it short. Put off by the back. Cleared. Mackie under it again. Misses it. Taken by Riley. Stubbed by the captain team. It was a good change. And he kicks it over the bar. Kevin Gales won seven, Bilber won two. So Bilber have a lot to do. And we don't seem to be playing with fire. Young Dillon. Say this as man. Hay ball, the Gales have the benefit on every hay ball on in the day. Paul. Referee's not. That's much from Ash where they take the free from. Hay ball in. Rush on them. Toes it up. Tackles. Lift there by the Captain Yales man. Free out. in the back for that ball but referee didn't blow for us. Gregory comes out again. Right to Dylan. <laughs> Dylan in the Mackey. Long one. The chance here. Oh, the Spellerbrook corner forward didn't control the ball at all. Ivan Byrne. The Simon's back in. Kevin Gale's back there to down. Ah, the ref just two handles there on the ground and the referee hasn't blown. Well taken by the Kevin Gale's man. Left for us. Elber fullbacks have a lot of trouble with the cabin pull foul. He's big and strong. Hay ball in on the square. Knocked down. Oh, 
3 out, Kevin Yales in the square. Middleburg's under a lot of pressure here. Half time. The score here in Spreffley Park at half time is Kevin Gales 1 7, Bellabra 1 2. Bellabra seems to have a lot to do in the second half hour. The full forward line is coming too far out and letting the ball hop over the head and go wide. So maybe in the second half we'll see a wee bit of improvement from the Bellabra team. I know they have been well trained over the year and I'm sure Brendan McGowan will do some talking to them at half time. Down the years there have been great games between Kevin Gales and and uh, Baylor at all underage levels. Amrocks will have to make a queer effort in the second half to pull down this lady, Cavan Gales. Cavan sends a field of against Byrne and Kyle, the, the holding the sway the whole time. They get the ball again from the throw in and free again them. For over carrying the ball, Mackey takes it long, deep corner forward. Carl caught behind his man, steered out. Taken by Tackney, well taken Tackney. Coming through to the ball, steers it, right forward. Coleman under it, Coleman beaten. Tackney have fouled. Mackey throws up the ball. Tears it left for us. Coleman catches it. Now, Bailbrook might do something now. Coleman throws his hand once. He's gone 20 yards. 30. He's pulled down. You know, Coleman wouldn't let him on attack. There was no Bailbrook lads running alongside him to, him to release the ball. He's on the top of Callahan. Callahan. Back out to field to Coleman. Coleman runs into trouble. Tackle be three men. The referee didn't give a free toddy. Well taken. That's a good start for Baylor in the second half hour. Andrew Coleman and Gavin Mackey. They seem to be the big men here on this Baylor team the other day. Gets the ball, clears it, gets very up in there. Free, free. That ball is taken well by Noel Donnelly. <laughs> taken by the same as lockdown. That was a free, in my estimation, the referee says no. This Gaffney, this big pull forward for Calvin Gales, creating it in the right in the corner. Gaffney tackles him, or, or Tackney tackles him, back in the corner of the square, two Calvin Gales out in the square, three out. There seems to be a bit more fire in Baylor in the second half hour, taken by Mackey. He's run into the trouble, hops at once, gone 20 yards of the throw run. Well done, he got it. That's better. Oh, good score by the Calvin Gales. That was a good score for Calvin Gales. Ligan beaten. Ross gone to the ball. Michael Shorten. Close uh, it up. <laughs> Referee is letting the bell run out. Take a wee bit of pounding. Dylan under the ball again. Dylan's doing better in the second half, I want. Well taken. Mackey misses. Goes back and throws the hook. 
Kicks it long in. It goes too high. These available lads haven't the measure these seven backs on a high ball at all. Mikey pulls. This is danger here. Shavin attacking. That's extra man inside. Foul. They were lucky to have that extra man Shavin. Good ball. Foul. They get fouled. Takes the free himself. In high again. No, we've, no, we've got no change out of these. Callaghan has it. Takes it across goal. Roger. Misses it. Rush under it. Calvin Gales on it gets a lucky hop. Well taken by uh, Tackney. Tackney playing well here the second half, I want. Mackey on the Gets it. A rounded man. Takes it long. Young Jordan was caught under the ball to him. Fouled. Gavin Yales won nine, Bellever won three, so Bellever uh, on the staff doing the homework, being uh, pushing the back from the Bellever. Getting a lot longer length on the kicks than the bell were lands. See up. No old Donnelly was fouled. No hurry with these bell were lads. We just not right switched on here today. No. Didn't pick. Didn't pick his man out. He just kicked it. Another point. One ten, one three. Everything's going right now for Cavan. They're getting the break, they're catching the high ball. There's it again. for Kevin Gales is playing the stormer here. I don't know whether he's Kyle or Byrne. But they have to sway all the time at centre field here, Kevin Gales. Long, wide. Neil Donnelly. 
Still in under it. Gets the ball. Having a lot better game in the second half, this young Dylan lad. Goal the line. Yeah, he's very strong, the full forward on the Kevin Gale team. Kicks in just danger. Yes, goal. and he's moved out from full power down to the 40. He can buy... Oh, Belver just don't know what to ask. Donnelly. Locked on the through. That's picked up by Mackey. Well tapped by Dylan again. There's a chance here for Velmer now. We're just having the power in the, in the front here for, to take the, the score. Just having the possible ability. Callaghan's doing better out in the fort than he was at full forward. Kicks it low. Cut off by the centre half. taken by the full back. <laughs> this part of the game, Gales is completely on top.
Brian Favela scored by Noel Callahan. about giving it a better run then give it back to the gale taxi states of this man well taken there on the field by this but free out that definitely should have been a free out you're on 10 yards with the ball Gavin Mackey has the ball. Kicks it. Michael Fitzsimons has it. Put the ground. we just taken that wee bit too much of the ball. Fitzsimons had laid in a, a second sooner. There's a bit of a forward inside. It's well taken point. Shepard over the line by the Belver full back. Robert Sheenan. <laughs> Calico's doing a lot better since he came out to the 40. Hold my guess it. Right on the. Uh, I have to agree with the referee. <laughs> Michael Shorten. Not able to cope with this number 11 at all here. Right. 
time's running out now for Bellamer. They want to be soon putting a few scores on the, on the board. He was unlucky. There's an empire here referee as well as the, uh, the referee. They're a better team than that. Maybe it's the fact that the Gales are playing in their home town that gives them that wee bit of a uh, will to win. It's very uh, uh, easy at underage football for that. Home advantage means an awful lot here. fast as the ball, out to the ball every time. Bellwood seemed to wait just that second to give the Yale's man the, the advantage of the two yards of count. High and wide. Here Donny is beaten. Another good point for Calvin Yale. So it's 2.14 to 1.5. Gales are moving the ball now, you know the team's well on top. Three in.
three against the cabin girls on Shirley. I think the referee gave that number eight a wee bit too much. Big strong lad and he used it to his full advantage. But the referee gave him a wee bit too much, I think. A good point from uh, Michael Fitzsimon there. Bringing on two stops now. give a free out to him because he lifted the ball on the ground. I don't think it's Paddy O'Reilly. I saw him refereeing before. I was never too impressed with him at any time, but he's not a good referee for school by football. but it's more accident than anything else. Another great point for the Yale. Total of two, 16 to, to one, six. I don't think there's any way back for us now. Gales was a theory on all the patterns of the field and age. We just wasn't good enough. We've not free again. He's lucky to get a free there. Mm -hmm. Bailbo's not going down and picking up the ball for the come out of clear. So clear on the ground, and it's not just that.
The Gales are under 12 champions from 1991 on a score of 15 to, or 2.15 to 1.6. A very comprehensive win here for the Gales. I'm sure the better lads will be a wee bit disappointed with the display. I, I, I think they're better than what they played this evening. Uh, we'll say goodbye here from Bethany Park, yes. Cheers.